How's it going guys? We're here to check out this week's top skins and uh, it's a pretty decent week. We've got a lot of deployables for you and some cool stuff and it should also be the same week of a big wipe where we have the new tech tree coming in so that is definitely very very exciting. We'll just have to see uh, <laughs> where that goes. So anyways uh, funny chicken things going on in the background. Let's jump into this awesome looking set that I am wearing. This is the bombing hoodie and it is made by Andre and it's got all these little anarchy symbols. It has a very punk vibe going on to it. And, uh, I mean, you can see the anarchy symbols are pretty much everywhere. There's some skulls here and there. Big old warning on the back. Kill written on the hoodie with a knife and the crown and uh, yeah it's just uh, one of those kind of things that's a very graffiti uh, punk vibe to it definitely a very cool looking set next up we got a high qual set for you this is the monuments memory set by Kosum and this is the high qual version and uh, so far it's only been weapons so it's kind of cool to see this translate into an armor set first thing with the chest piece you've got those little monument memories as it is named after the cargo and you've got the lighthouse and a balloon which you almost never see going around and then on the back over here you can see you've got a cobalt rocket going off a <laughs> nice little water tower right there next to dome hanging out and if we come on up to here there's a little recycler on the back of this and then a big old you know light blue sky blue dome and then you come around to the front and you've got these teeth going on and it reminds me kind of like a car grill but it also kind of reminds me of like recycler I, I don't know it's it's definitely a unique look and quite a cool looking set next we've got the deployables for you starting with this really cute looking sleeping bag it's got this awesome little digital uh tile chicken on here it is the wild chicken sleeping bag and uh, yeah, I just really love the look of this thing and the art is just absolutely really cool. So definitely an awesome contender for this week. Next, we've got a rug for you and it is designed to look like the wrappings of the new supply drop. Now the supply drop, if you haven't seen that, did get an HD upgrade and it, it looks like this kind of now with uh, it wrapped around it instead of just a green square. So definitely a nice little thing that goes along with something new that was added to the game. Next, we've got a goofy fridge for you. If you want somewhere to store your milk that we don't have in the game yet, this could be it. But if you just want to make a really gaudy looking kitchen, this would be perfect for it as well. This thing is just absolutely hilarious. Checked on, quality approved, you got that. Uh, and then over here, cow of the month is Betsy. All right. And then back here, it looks like there's some, you know, connectors and so forth some lights definitely a goofy and fun little fridge next we've got doors 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 starting with a wooden double door for you this one is a beautiful little garage <coughs> garage i am i'm confusing the words garage and barn today apparently a beautiful barn door for you of course you can have two different sides so that is what the back looks like kind of makes an a which is nice nice little design and you got the X on the front, A and X. Then over here, we've got a very creative sheet metal door for you. This one has all the different seasons, and uh, it makes me wish that maybe one day Russ will be able to. That'd be very cool. And they're kind of broken up with this barbed wire, which I thought was quite neat as well. It's definitely a very unique looking door, and uh, I love the creativity that was put into this. Next, we've got something that just looks like a portal into something's horrible stomach or hell or something it is the metal maw and i think stomach was the idea they're going for since the word maw is in there and uh it is it, as it says there this thing is hungry and ready to devour and I, is that a bone down there that looks like the bone club from rust i don't know if that was done on purpose or not but if it was bravo i like that definitely a creepy cool door then over here we've got something in complete opposite is this pretty princess door it is the plastic castle door by jessen and uh, this door really does look like it's made out of plastic. Like, if I saw this on base, I feel like I could kick it and my foot would go through it. Like, <laughs> it would just bend. And uh, it's, uh, it's hilarious. I love it. It definitely one of those things that fits into the goofy, crazy side of Rust. Over here, we've got something a little more on the evil and dark side again. This is Milo's Santana's door. And, uh, well, you can guess from the name there, you've got this, like, demonic skull with horns and then a bunch of other really creepy 
vampire-ish looking skull things going on down there. Definitely fits into that creepy uh, horror side of Rust that everyone loves. Next, we've got something that I foresee being very, very popular. It is the Toxic Double Door by Little Ranger for his Toxic set. And uh, yes, I mean, people love glowing doors. This is a glowing double door. And it is part of the Toxic set, which is a very popular set. So that is just kind of a no-brainer. Definitely, definitely looks amazing. I could see this one selling quite well with even a higher price tag on it. Lastly, we've got a very cool garage door for you. This one looks all beat up like it's been in the middle of a city. This is the Ascension Garage Door by Eben. And you can see it has kind of like this popping out effect uh, to the garage door pieces. And then you've got the little evil emoji, the angel emoji, and the really sad guy down there. I think it says, come at me, bro. <laughs> the, the whole thing kind of just fits in memes. And then it just has this layer of crust on it that uh, it, 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 you can tell it just kind of has like a city smog look to it if you ever lived in a big city you'll know what i'm talking about so that's kind of a, a cool little effect there but that does it for the deployables we do have some of the glow so let's go ahead and hit the lights and bring you back and conveniently the two glowing items are right next to each other so that makes it nice and easy you can see the nice glow here on milo's door really just uh accentuates those skulls and the glowing of the eyes and so forth and then of course you've got that same you know toxic drip going on with the usual as this set is known for. All right, and let's jump into the last phase of this video, which is tools and weapons. And this week we've got a cool little rock to start it off with. This one is the Broken Mirror Rock by Igor. And uh, yeah, you can see, let's see, there's cobalt news underneath. So, you know, while you're holding it, you don't have to cut up your hand too bad. And then the rest of it is just this broken mirror, which apparently we don't mind petting and stroking. Uh, <laughs> it's definitely got a very cool effect as the light hits it and is a nice unique rock for sure. Moving on, we've got a bunch of hammers for you, starting with this one right here with a very sweet industrial look. It's a continuation in Stabby's Heavy Machinery set, and this is the Heavy Machinery Hammer. It's spelled that way. I, I wasn't having any uh, speech problems as usual. That's, uh, that's how it's spelled. So anyways, this Hammer is uh, definitely got a cool industrial vibe to it. Yes, it has some glow, so we'll be sure to show you that here at the end. Next, we've got another hammer. This is a continuation in the Obsidian set. So, of course, this would be the Obsidian Hammer. I mean, right? That, that makes sense. And this version 2 is just a very nice, beautiful piece of Obsidian block that you can hammer on through. And can I ever do one of these videos without the helicopter showing up? Like, really? Jeez. <laughs> Next, we've got another really cool hammer for you. This one has a glowing and non-glowing version. This is the glowing one, of course, so we can show that to you. It is the wolf meat hammer. And uh, yeah, it's a chunk of wolf meat with some fur and uh, staples in it. And th the whole thing is just awesome. I, I, I love this little idea. And uh, we'll be sure to check it out here at night with the glow effect. Oops, wrong way. Next, we've got another hammer for you. This one is meant to look like a big block of cement. It is the Lucky Hammer by Nixon. And it uh, has that Lucky 8 explosion going on on it. And the, the rest of it here is this big block of cement. But there's some kind of sketchy items in it. There's some blood. I don't know. Is that a cigarette? Some screws and rebar? I, there's some uh, blood up there for sure. So, hmm. Very, very interesting. Next... We've got a knife for you. This one is themed after the kind of like cargo ship colors and stuff like that. It is the Engineer's Combat Knife by Eleven. It, and uh, you can see it has this nice red hilt with some fresh tape. And then you can see the blade is very worn and used. It also has like a measuring tape drawn onto it to be extra useful. It's not just a knife, but you can do some rough measurements with it. Definitely a cool little tool to have handy for sure. All right, let's check out the next couple of sets here. We've got a very cool looking tool set for you. This is 
made out of all sorts of basically computer parts. It is the CD-ROM hatchet and pickaxe set. And uh, I think that is properly named since their blade is basically made out of CD-ROMs. And then it looks like uh, oof, a handle wrapped in a circuitry board. I don't know if that would be so great on your hands, but it's definitely a very cool tool look. Of course, it has this matching pickaxe, which also has some, uh, looks like conductive wiring wrapped around it, which is cool. And then look at those layers of the CDs. I think that was definitely a very cool effect. Next, we've got a crossbow for you. It's a continuation in the Raptor set by Vase. Take a look at it there. You can see there's all sorts of like teeth and claws going on right here. Go ahead and pop a reload on it. Do a little spin around, get the different light on it. And there you have it. Definitely a cool looking crossbow. Get another side look at it there. Next, we've got a very different looking python, and this one is meant to look like it is literally made out of styrofoam. Therefore, it is called the styrofoam python, and uh, that makes sense. And I don't know, this might be a little too goofy, but I, I, I definitely have to show it because of how unique it really looks. It, it just looks so silly, and I love the idea of it. Plus, you know, anything with some duct tape. Next, we've got a very cool looking military-esque SAR for you. Check out this bad boy. It is the Elite Crate SAR by Odyssey. And it basically does look like it's made out of that same material as the Elite Crate. So it's at least painted up the same with the same little logos and that green. And these beautiful orangey red highlights are just absolutely nice. This has such a clean and beautiful look to it. I can see a lot of people really, really loving this one. Do a little aim down the sights there. There you have it. Whoops, wrong one. Uh, we're all out of order here. <laughs> Lastly, for this group, we've got a Thompson skin for you. This one has kind of like a little more of a digital kind of uh, modern look to it. Uh, it's not a glow, it just kind of has like those lights on it, which is neat. And then uh, I like how that kind of like branches off onto the end of it. Oops, wrong button. You'll see right there onto the broken stock as it pops back. Aiming down the sights here. Again, kind of hard to work with the Thompson, not the most area, but I think they did some cool stuff with it. It also has a purple version, which I did put in the collection, which is always in the description down below in the video. All right, as we hit our last group here, we've got some MP5s for you. This is a continuation in the paintball set, it looks like, and an MP5 skin is definitely welcome. It's been quite some time since we've last got one, so I think it was smart of Firefly to go ahead and make this one an MP5. It's definitely very colorful and bright. Aim down the sights there, you've got a red painted but not glowing sight, and a nice splash of colors around it. Then we've got another MP5 for you. This one has an old Western vibe and therefore, of course, is the Sheriff's MP5. Aim down the site here, you've got Sheriff, uh, you know, carved in there. And the whole site and everything, it all just looks old and like worn brass or old wood. And uh, I, I really dig that vibe. I, I think that's definitely a cool design to this. And wouldn't you know it, we just escaped the helicopter and it's coming back around. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, we've got the opulent AK. Yeah, as we spin around, you can see the light kind of reflects differently. Aiming down the sights, you've got the same kind of effect going on as we spin around. The light catches it in many different, different areas. Different, different areas? What? <laughs> That's some skill right there, guys. Boom. There's the reload. Stupid heli. There you have it. Could definitely see this one being very popular as the set itself was. And people have been begging for some guns. Next, we've got a Bolty for you. This one is down the happy lane. As you can see, there's a beautiful rainbow and a happy little sun shining at you. The whole thing has a nice kind of worn look to it and then a 
very hand painted look. Definitely a cute little Balti for sure. This one is called the Happy Lands Balti and is brought to us by Fora. Next, we've got a couple LRs for you. This one is the Jade LR. No, yeah, Jade. I was like, wait, Jade or Emerald? <laughs> by mad and it is very very cool the whole thing looks like it's made out of a uh plastic carved up and painted up to look like jade or jade itself i guess you could say it just uh that would make a very heavy gun so i'm just gonna go with the whole plastic part made to look like jade anyways aim down the side so you've got some nice red rings to help you focus off of that green and you can see there's lots of beautiful gold highlights on many of the fine parts of the gun itself especially back here on the stock We'll pop a reload there so you can see that. Definitely a very beautiful LR. Lastly, we've got a very patriotic LR for you. This is the 1776 LR by Algorithm. And as you aim down the sights, you've got these, uh, what looks like a glow sight, but it's not. It's just kind of dots. And then you've got some stars and stripes in black and white. And then on the sides, you've got the red, white, and blue just explosion going on. This thing is absolutely awesome. Go ahead and pop a reload there. You can put some blue back into that red and white. <laughs> I definitely think this thing is uh, really well done artistically. And uh, as an American, this thing is kind of cool. I I I'd love to run around and scream America with this one in my hand. So <laughs> we'll just have to see how that goes. But that's gonna do it guys. So sound off down in the comment section below which ones you are looking forward to the most and want to see make it and we'll be back on thursday for the full scoop on the brand new update and wipe as well as which of these skins make it in thanks for watching and you all have a great week